I hated that. <laughs> Hello, everybody. We are back once again to Level Up Network, and we're doing another reaction time. I'm joined by The Beast and Jay, a.k.a. Dean, a.k.a. Glasses Wearer, a.k.a. I ran out of names. <laughs> you got you can, you hit them all. I'm okay, sure. good. As long as I got all the bullet points there. Um, today we are discussing our we are I don't grammar. We are discussing yeah. Arrow season three episode fourteen, the return. I wanted you to like mimic. It didn't happen. Okay, cool. I was like, I'm gonna send no, yeah, him a no, no, signal. No, 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 no. We're gonna do it. We're okay, gonna do it. Hit, okay, hit, okay. Ready? Me, yeah. Okay. One more time. Take two. Marker set. Okay. Today we shall be discussing Arrow season three episode fourteen. The return. The return. That's all I wanted, and I'm so happy that you did the eyes, too. <laughs> all right, perfect. Um, so now, considering this was a while ago, we're going to let you into our mindset here a little bit, people. We have forgotten some of the episode. We've been delayed. We've been backed up. But we're going to bang all these out for you. We're going to get all these reaction times up because you guys want to see us talk about it because we're beautiful. We're going to um, bang them out. Bang in the arrow. <laughs> yeah. Really not. Well, this took a turn. Um, all right. So the episode starts off, and we have our brother sister beat down bonding on the island. Um, if you remember the episode, now three episodes ago, we will be um, Ar um, the arrow Oliver Queen. I forgot his name for a second. Good. Um, he takes Thea to the island to go start training her in preparation for their raise out goal showdown. Um, and we find out that Slade was left by Oliver on the island, and now he's escaped. Wicka wicka what? What did you think when they found out that uh, Slade escaped? At first, I got really excited, but then once I realized, like, they underutilize him, and, like, I didn't under I didn't really understand the purpose. The whole like, episode, I, I yeah. I do, but, I mean, and, I don't know, in the grand scheme of things, like, there wasn't some greater tale there. And I also want to know, like, while he's on the island, like, no one's going back there to feed him, right? Like, he's not, like, the ASPCA animals where Sarah McLaughlin's singing in the cage. Like, he's just... Yeah, I don't know. I was wondering that same thing, actually, when I was watching this. I don't know how his prisoners are, are remaining alive. That's a, does he have Mirakuru still in him? And that's the only thing I could think of, is maybe he's just, like, doesn't have to eat with that stuff. Don't they have to... I'm pretty sure they still need to eat and stuff, and Mirakuru's in them. Yeah, I don't know how that works, but I'm like, whatever. It's comic book TV show, so let's keep yeah. going. Um, and then we find out later on in the episode that he didn't escape, but Malcolm Merlin set him loose to allow Oliver to regain his killer instinct, wanting him to ultimately kill Ra's al Ghul. And how do you feel about that? Do you miss Oliver being a killer? Um, see, that's a tough that's a tough road to go down. Yeah, sometimes, is. sometimes I do because if you if we think back to like the first season. Like, I, that's when I really got hooked, was, like, in the yeah. first, I don't know, five episodes, and we saw him, like, really start, start like, taking out this vigilante, and he yeah. was like, yeah, I don't care, I'm going to kill them if they get in my way. He murdered, like, like yes. 150 people season one, and everyone just <laughs> yeah, forgets. It was kind of awesome. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, I get why he doesn't. I I'm cool with it either way, I guess. Whatever, whatever Oliver needs to do. Yeah, I'm happy that they brought it around to make him the Batman-esque villain that won't kill. But um, right. or hero rather, but um, I don't know. I kind of I kind of miss him just being able to shoot somebody through the throat with an arrow. Like that was so cool. Like it was so off the off the wall and crazy. But I mean, he still has his moments where he's like kind of brutal. Uh, yeah. uh, the Flash Arrow crossover when he was like yeah. twisting the air yeah. and torturing him. Yeah, I was like, well, he's still definitely good. I feel I feel like. If he gets pushed far enough, he'll be he like, will. I don't care. I'm yeah. done with you. I think he'll Long. do it. Yeah, I totally agree. I like your arrow pullback. <laughs> <laughs> We're actually, guys, this is the reaction time on the Hunger Games. <laughs> um, there we go. So now, as we continue on here, uh, Slade, when he gets loose, knocks both Oliver and Thea out as they try to do another brother-sister training course, because Thea's still being trained by him. She was only taught by Malcolm, and Malcolm taught her all these dirty tricks, but Slade fights just as dirty, so he ends up knocking them both out, and then they wake up in Slade's old cell. Um, they escape when Oliver, sickingly, 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 me, I don't know how to say that word, but you know what I'm talking about, disgustingly, there we go, that's the word. Yeah, 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 I can't, it. I couldn't say the other one. Um, so he dislocates his sister, little sister, baby sister, baby Thea, her arm breaks it out of its fucking position, and then puts her arm through the bar to unlock the cell. Yeah, I that was, was pretty good. I was a big fan of that, actually. You were like, <laughs> you were cheering him on. <laughs> Break her shoulder! I just like the, I like the dynamic, because, like, yeah. you can tell... You can really tell that they're related because yeah. Oliver does that kind of shit. He would do that kind of shit to himself yeah, that's if he true. had to. Which she was like, yeah. do it. Just do it. Let's yeah. fucking get out of here, dude. Yeah. yeah. She's like, just do it. I don't care. <laughs> He's like, I'm like, oh my god. I was crying the whole time that happened. And then as she's bending it through, the, I'm like, this can't. This isn't okay. Um, then they navigate through the island. Oliver hits his own booby trap. 
which I don't know how he set up booby traps that he totally forgot about. But an arrow goes <laughs> through his shoulder. Thea starts freaking out. And of course, they have no time to even react to him being shot with an arrow because Slade jumps out from a tree that he was just waiting there the whole time. They manage not to see him. And then um, he drops the bombshell also a little bit before this on Thea that she was the one that killed Sarah. And how did you feel about that whole dynamic when he when she finally finds out? I thought it was kind of cool that, um, well, I like, I like, I don't know, I feel all hot and cold on this, because I like that all the secrets are coming out now, yeah. like, she's really kind of, like, becoming a part of the fold. I liked Tia. I, yeah. I have no problems with the actress, I have no problems with the character, I think she's cool, I like the way they fleshed her out so far. Yeah. Um, but also, it's kind of, like, slowly eliminating this, like need for an alter ego because everyone's kind of finding out all of his secrets. Yeah, and it's just, now it's to the point where, like you said, like, people just don't care. Like, Nisa, right. Nisa um, Al Ghul will come into town, and she's there, and just everybody, she's shooting people, like, random people walking down the street, and he's like, hi, I'm Oliver, and, like, they're having conversations, with her. I'm like, people can hear, like, what's the point of being the Arrow? Right. Queen Consolidated is now the Arrow Fortress Cave that everybody knows about, so. Um, but as we continue going on here, um, some part of me, like you said, I really like Thea as an actress. I think she pulled it together this episode. I like seeing more of her, and I like that they're bringing her into the fold. And um, at the end there, we get the Oliver versus Thea versus Slade versus each other showdown. Um, and it was them kicking some ass, and they finally got into sync, and they, they got the job done. Um, how did you feel about them finally being in synchronization? For which fight are we talking about? For Slade? Is, yeah, for Slade. Yeah. Uh, I liked it. I thought yeah. I thought Thea was gonna go the distance for a second and just yeah. take him out. And I yeah. thought it would have been nice if somebody did. Yeah. Uh, because like I said, I mean, they kind of just threw him out. He's he's too he's too big of a character yeah. in the DC universe to have just brought out for that one. So and be yeah. like, well, he's gone again. Yeah. Um. So I think there's something bigger at play there. Um. So she probably should have killed him. Yeah, I, I literally wrote down the same thing. I said that Slade was such a wasted opportunity this episode. They brought him back. Like you said, he's such a central character. And the actor plays him phenomenally in the show. The whole season two was made basically yeah, he's by right. him. Yeah, um, but yeah, I agree. I feel like they underutilized him. Um, and then Thea and Oliver have this whole conversation that she can't tell Laurel the truth about what happened. Um, and then we find out Malcolm gives them a call on the island. He's the only one that has cell phone reception that can reach them. Um, <laughs> apparently, by the way, they get to the island in like two seconds. Uh, nobody found yeah. Oliver for a whole five years, but they can go there like this. Like I still, well, that doesn't I think matter. he knows the way he goes there to train. I think he like once he, the first time, like he went, went back, I think he like mapped it out. Oh, okay. I guess that makes it sense. He wrote, like that. Anyway. He has like a whole chart there. What the um, hell do I know? I don't live with all of his What are we superheroes <laughs> or something? Come on. <laughs> um, so then Malcolm calls, he tells everybody what's happening. Um, and then Thea, uh, finally, I'm so happy. She finally tells him off, and she's just like, listen, I know you're my dad, and I know I chose to go with you for the beginning half, but, like, you're a lying psychopath, and you almost got me and my brother killed, so how'd you feel about them having I liked it. I liked that Thea uh, came around, and, like, every, and she realized, they were like, oh, wait a minute, this is the guy who was going to destroy an entire section of the city. We should yeah. probably remember that. Yeah. <laughs> remember when he was a lunatic? Yeah, he's still my dad, but he's my lunatic right. father. Um, and then we also got to see Amanda Waller this episode, once again pushing Oliver to continue torturing, continue going down this dark path. And I, I keep feeling like every time we cover her, she she's only got this one beat. She's only yeah, uh, Amanda much. Waller's psychopath, and I just want her to develop more. I want her to get more character growth. How did you feel about her? I agree with you. Um, I agree with you, but I also feel that I don't, I could really do it without seeing Amanda Waller, and I that's would be true. just fine. Yeah, that's point. true, too. Yeah, and the flashbacks are kind of catching up now, too, but we will get to that in a sec. Um, we also see Detective Lance is off-duty since Laurel told him the news about Sarah being dead this episode. Um, she finds him at a bunch of different bars this episode and always kind of has to drag him out uh, by his ear, not w willingly, that's for sure. And once again, the part that gets me about Sarah's death is not only did she die and that's sad for her father, but like he's so caught up still in the fact that Laurel lied to him about it rather than mm -hmm. his actual daughter being dead that I feel like Sarah doesn't even matter at this point. It's more just the Laurel-him right. feud. How did you feel about that? Yeah, I mean, I, I feel like it's kind of unrealistic just because I feel like he would have understood why she didn't want to tell him. This is a guy who has had a history of heart problems. He has a history of alcoholism. Uh, addiction runs in their family, and she's like, well, I'm just trying not to shake up the situation here, and I feel yeah. like any normal parent would be like, I get it, I get why you would, you're trying to protect me. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's exactly what I see in my head, too. I'm like, God forbid, like, ever, any one of my siblings ever died. Like, I wouldn't obviously hide it from my mom, but, like, 
I feel like I would prolong it to a point where she could handle it, especially if she was about to have a heart attack at any second. Right. Um, and then the flashbacks this episode, we got to see a bunch of old characters come back. We got Tommy, Tommy Merlin came back into the flashbacks. Um, we also had Felicity. She was hysterical when she walks into the office and sees the picture of Oliver and, um, his yeah, dad, that was and she's she's just like, wow, you are so sexy. And then she walks down, she's like, why do I talk to myself? I'm a weirdo. I'm like, yes, I love you, fellow city. One day, me and her will get married. But other than that, um, the the music reflected the time period too. They played like Flow Rider from back in 2008, so I like mm-hmm. those little touches when they do the flashback scenes. Um, and then talking about Oliver's dark side from the beginning of when we started this video, he finds out that Thea's like getting into drugs and stuff, kind of the way he was going disapproves of it and then confronts her drug dealer at the party snaps his neck and throws him over the balcony leaving him dead at the queen party how did you feel about that i was like that escalated quickly i thought, quickly. I thought that was awesome dude yeah. i loved that yeah. he's just cut back from like this island where they like he's been tortured and like he's had all this training now and he's yeah. like i don't have time for this yeah. punk ass kid yeah. <laughs> He also literally the little uh, the little joke about it. he was like I had my hood up no one knows it's me and he's like oh you may as well smear grease paint yep. over your eyes yep I literally wrote <laughs> that same thing down as he goes outside Maceo and him Maceo brings finds out that he went to the party that he caused this whole scene happening there and then he's like yeah talking about the green hood and the face he's like what do you think grease face paint around your eyes is gonna make people not notice who you are and he's like I don't what are you talking about and that's throwback <laughs> obviously the whole first season of the show um, right. And even half a season two. And then we also got to see Detective Lance still having problems with Laurel back then um, when he was dealing with his alcohol problem when he thought Sarah died the first time. So it was cool to see that parallel of him dealing with her death in both scenarios there. Um, And then we also found out about how Oliver finds out about his dad's Mm -hmm. legacy when he breaks into the Queen Consolidated. um, And he gets the line from his dad, you failed the city or you saved the city from the video that he finds on the thing. I thought that was cool. Yeah, I thought that was really nice. Yeah, um, and then the episode ends, and Maceo gets captured conveniently by China White until Oliver busts in and saves the day. How did you feel about China White coming back to the show? Uh, it was cool. I kind of forgot all about her, so yeah. I kind of like saw her at first. I was like, who? Oh, yeah, I remember yeah. that. You're like a character somehow. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. wasn't. I was kind of indifferent on her return. How did you like it? Yeah, I was the same way. I, I figured Oliver was obviously going to come back um, and save the day as he normally would, but I feel like now in the flashbacks, he's kind of up to where he is now as the Arrow, and where he can take care of himself finally. It's not like in the flashbacks we're seeing him like beat up and tortured and bruised. Now he's finally at the, at par, we'll say, in both Almost. Um, yeah, in I both mean, times. I feel like the, ex- the experience has done a lot for him. Yeah, that's true too, yeah. And obviously murdering the thousands of people. <laughs> yes, yeah. <we're, laughs> um, that never hurts. But um, yeah, that was the episode. So what do we think of it overall that week? The return. Um, I liked it. I didn't. I didn't think it was like fantastic. I thought it was good. I thought it was a solid episode. How yeah. do you feel about it? I'm the same exact way. Both of us, I think, can agree that Slade was underutilized. Hopefully, they bring him back for another episode. You know what? I'm kind of. I. I was. It seemed like a really good opportunity with Raish, uh, like seemingly kind of about to come to the city. Yeah. And Slade about to the city. Like, so, like it seemed like we were gonna up. have kind of like a bigger thing happen yeah. here, and then they just kind of blew it by locking him back up. Yeah, but who knows? This season could totally spin us on our heads here and uh, have Slade somehow. Malcolm Merlin has to get him, or we'll see what happens in that. But, uh, Dean, I want to thank you for joining me. Thanks for having me, dude. Dude, always. Hashtag glasses, hashtag the beast MJ. But, of course, if you want to <laughs> see other videos like this, guys, you can check out our YouTube page at youtube.com slash the level up show, level spelled LVL. We have reaction times on shows like The Arrow, The Flash, Gotham. Um, what else do we do? The Walking Dead, Better Call Saul, basically Ooh, any everything. content that's in the Getting world. Money. Ba- you yeah. come and subscribe, we'll just throw money at you. We're actually giving you our lives. This is my birth certificate. Yeah. We'll have it next episode. Um, and then if you want to and you feel the need to, in no way, shape, or form feel the necessity to, you can enjoy all of our content for free at YouTube. But if you want to get it first and you feel like our content is amazing, you can help us improve all of our shows by donating to us at patreon.com slash the Level Up Network. Level spelled all the way out this time. Um, spelled exactly as it sounds. So go there. I'll link it at the bar below right here. And that way you guys can click that. Go there. Um, and once again, always remember to level up, people. We love you. Love you. Level up. Love you. Level up. Hey, love you. We level up. We level all the time. <laughs> we love you. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>